Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn about molecular shape and polarity. Alright, so at the end of the lessons, you should be able to explain Vesper theory or VSEPR theory. Draw the basic molecular shapes that is linear, trigonal planar, tetrahedral, trigonal bipyramidal and octahedral. Alright, so according to Vesper theory, the valence electron pairs on a central atom occupy or arrange a position in space as far apart as possible in order to minimize electron pair, electron pair repulsions. Okay, so there are three types of electron pair, electron pair repulsions. The first one is bonding pair to bonding pair repulsions. The second one is lone pair to bonding pair repulsions. And the third one is lone pair to lone pair repulsions. So these three types of electron pair repulsions have different strength. Okay, so lone pair to lone pair repulsions has the greatest force of repulsions compared to lone pair to bonding pair repulsions and bonding pair to bonding pair repulsions okay so these are the comparisons of bond angle due to different type of electron pair repulsions on ch4 nh3 and h2o molecules so basically these three molecules have different bond angle due to different types of electron repulsions exist in the molecule Okay, so let's start with CH4. In CH4 molecules, there are four bonding electrons and there is no lone pair. So what happened here? The electron pair in the bond is arranged as far apart as possible to minimize the repulsions. So the bond angle is 109.5. Okay. The bond angle here is the angle between the terminal atom. Okay, so for NH3 molecule, there is one lone pair and three bonding pair electrons. Okay, so since there is lone pair, one lone pair, that means there is lone pair to bonding pair repulsions. And as we just learned before, Lone pair bonding pair repulsions has greater force of repulsions than bonding pair bonding pair repulsions. So the bond angle is reduced or becomes smaller and the bond angle is 107.3 for NH3 molecule. Okay, for H2O, in H2O molecule, there are two lone pairs and two bonding pairs electrons okay so since there are two lone pair exist in this molecule that means there is lone pair lone pair repulsions okay and lone pair lone pair repulsions has the greatest force of repulsions compared to lone pair bonding pair repulsions and bonding pair bonding pair repulsions so the bond angle is reduced to 104.5 which is the smallest among the three molecules so even though the these three molecules have the same basic molecular shapes but the bond angle is quite different due to the lone pair exists in the molecule okay Right, next we're going to look at the molecular shape. So the molecular shape is the 3D arrangements of atoms in a molecule. So basically it will affect physical and chemical properties. And the molecular shape is predicted by using valence shell electron pair repulsions model that is VSEPR theory. There are five basic molecular shapes 
And for this basic molecular shape, we are going to focus on the molecules in which central atom has no lone pair electrons. Right. So for each basic molecular shape, you need to know uh, its class, number of bonded atoms or number of bonding pair electrons, number of lone pair electrons, arrangement of electron pair, molecular shape and bond angle. Alright, so let's start with linear. So for a linear molecular shape, the class of this shape is AB2. That means there are two bonding electrons around the central atom. Okay, so there are no lone pair electrons here. And in terms of the arrangement of electron pair, they are arranged as far apart as possible to minimize the repulsions. Remember, this is according to Vesper theory. So the bond angle here is 180 degree. Okay. So this is the molecular shapes of linear. The next one is trigonal planar. The class of this molecular shape is AB3. That means there are three electron pair around the central atom. And these three electron pair will arrange as far apart as possible to minimize the repulsions. So the bond angle here is 120 degree. Okay, so this is the shape of trigonal planar. Right, the next one is tetrahedral. For the tetrahedral, the class of this molecular shape is AB4. That means there are four electron pair around the central atoms and they are arranged again as far apart as possible to minimize the repulsions. So the angle in tetrahedral is 109.5. Next one is trigonal bipyramidal. Okay, so the class of trigonal bipyramidal is AB5. That means there are five electron pair around the central atom. And there are two bond angles here. The first one is 90 degree and another one is 120. So this is the positions of electron pair around the central atom for the trigonal bipyramidal. Okay, the next one is octahedral. Okay, for the octahedral, the class of this shape is AB6. That means there are six electrons pair around the central atom and it will arrange as far apart as possible to minimize the repulsions. So the bond angle here is 90 degree. Alright, so these are the examples of molecules for linear, trigonal planar, tetrahedral, trigonal bipyramidal and octahedral. For linear, the example of molecule that has linear shape is BeCl2, HgCl2 and CO2. For trigonal planar, BF3, CO3 2 minus, NO3 minus and SO3. For the tetrahedral, the molecule that has a tetrahedral shape is CH4, PO4 3 minus, SO4 2 minus, C ClO4 minus, TiCl4 minus and Xe. O4. Okay. The next one is trigonal bipyramidal. The example of the molecule that has this shape is PCL5. And the last one is octahedral. Okay. The molecule that has octahedral shape is SF6 and WCL6. Alright, so that's it.